Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nerd and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Today, the day has finally arrived. We've done a lot of the quests in the Valen region and I'm gonna take a break from that by continuing on with the main quest and head towards Skellige. So, you've uh, seen it a lot on my screen, but we need to find a boat to head to Skellige. So, uh, I think this captain can help me. Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. Awesome. Hi. Her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. No, no. I'm uh, not really surprised. That's a very fair way to do things. Take me to Skellige? Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Okay. Very well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Okay. Ever been there? Ever sailed there? Listen. The islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard, for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. Or did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had Captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough Skelliger for a lifetime. I can understand that, so, uh... Thanks anyway. So not this boat. So we'll, uh... Head a bit further. I think there's another... Yeah, I need to take the long route. I could jump from ship to ship, but like I did uh, in that other quest, but let's take the docks this time. There we go. There's a boat over here as well, before I need to go to the other side of the docks. Um, I do need to find the captain, maybe up top? Doesn't look like it. Seaman. That's locked. Captain? No clue. Drinking somewhere, as I reckon. Like always. Okay, drinking somewhere. So not not on this boat then. This deck's to shine like the silver on the Emperor's table. You want to catch it. Name's Wolverstone. Okay, Wolverstone. So that kicks me away from this part and in the direction of someone else. Probably that boat over there. So see you there in a minute. So this boat should be the one I need because uh, there's not really much else in the in the sake of options. So uh, over there. Hello, Captain. You captain of this tub? What's it to you? Um, need to get the Skelliger. I'm Skelliger bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverstone from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. So that's Ask from the flask. boat that Everyone we didn't find it. the captain of. Captain Wolverstone. So we need to head back to the golden sturgeon again. We're starting to be a regular over there, so uh, give me a second. So the golden sturgeon, not that far off, of course. Let's see if we can find that drunken captain. Captain Wolverstone. You he has a really cool name, though. Atropos. So you wanna know if I'm Atropos, captain of the Wolverstone? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos. Horson Junior, is that you? You can <laughs> sail for our Skellig, carrying grain, but that's our shush. Um, so you can pick me with you. Gotta get some 1,000 up here, you. Don't really have an option here, but apparently. Hefty sack, like a bull's. When do we sail? Not sure you're ready. You can barely stand. Know this, stranger. Captain Wolverston never sails sober. Ah, that's not good, is it? Makes the rocking bearable. 
Toronto. Ready to set sail? Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Ah, first, you must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. Okay then. Anchors away. A drunk captain. This'll go great. Look at this go. Leaving Novigrad and towards Gallagher. Yeah, I got some rest. It'll probably be a while until we get there. Oh, that doesn't sound good. And we don't really have sound. Yeah, there we go, okay. So we're being attacked. As expected. So that's uh, giving me some space. Holy shit, there's a lot of dudes. Let's use a uh, Igni to uh, handle these dudes. Apparently that was enough, and there goes the other boat. Uh oh. Smacking into the rocks. Ooh. We kinda got hit in the face hard, but we managed to get the Scaliger in one piece. So that's something. Uh oh. Well, that's Roach over there, because that's the court head hanging from it. <laughs> Boo, motherfucker! Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not a fear to die. So welcome to that accent, by the way. Um, you have the clan on crate. See, I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing clan on crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Horn Skellig. There's a wetch of Kerr Trolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Could be, indeed. So don't like her. <laughs> that scorn I hear in your voice. You've good ears. Folks say this witch got crack wrapped around her finger. Sounds like Lord the all right. About. Word is she's vicious at it, but a hag's a hag. Okay then, what she look like? Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? <laughs> Fact is. Even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Okay then, sounds like her. Uh, I'm gonna slap you. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Yeah, and he kinda knows her. the way to Kertrolda. Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. 
Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thank you, friend. Thanks. So long. So, Skellige. It's a lot more uh, hostile, as you can see. Is that a place of power over there? I want that. Um, so let's head out over there first. And get whatever that is. Probably gonna get attacked by those harpies. But hey, it's not place all bad, power. right? Should draw from it. There we go. And that gives us another ability point. Bye, harpies. I'll leave you to it. Ooh, chest. So harpies are, uh, well, whatever you would expect from a harpy. Like flying mermaids with demon eyes. Um, let's see. Ooh, that's actually really nice. But, let's hop on uh, Roach and head towards the port. There we go. And see you at the port in a second. So as you can see, we're at the... Uh, Care Troll that is over there, is the, the castle up top right there. Looks amazing, right? Uh, and then we have the port is right down here. And as you can see, Skellige kind of reminds you of the Faster. Norse Islands, uh, which will be a whole lot different from the uh, DLC that's about to come out. Blood and wine. So the sun is kind of in my eyes. Our time amongst the living is but the wink of an eye. What's left? So we're kind of here at a sad moment. The death of a ruler. You need not do this, child. I know, but I want to. That's Hermion. We'll uh, get to meet him in a second. And this is one of the more freaky uh, customs in Skellige. Such a young lass. Berna should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Over. It is her decision. So when a ruler dies in Skellige, his wife is uh, kind of killed alongside him. And not just killed, but, um, well, fucking funeral style. Hello, Yennefer. You Looking have lovely as after ever. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirzek has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid 
They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. <laughs> Let's stay tactful. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. And that's what the uh, other man was talking about, that she should be the one getting burned alive alongside him. Tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. So, um, I want to run away with you, spend some time alone. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah. Nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were Book there. reference. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Betrayal. Reading my mind. <laughs> Reading my mind again? Mm. What's more, I like what I see. Okay then. So yeah, Tenet was uh, one of the more important events in the books, where uh, the mages revolted that? against each other. Uh, as for Valen, Valen, awful place. Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this Baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Siri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what the they crones. are. The crones are dangerous. Very. Also ran into oh, an old th friend there's of There's the ship Vanna. again. Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen. She told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. I will. And then uh, Novigrad? Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Ciri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. Gladly. And what have you learned in the meantime? How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As Could might as, as well be. Intuition, Yen. We need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. So, uh, Ermion became the chief druid, and Ermion is the, the guy that was the old guy we saw that nodded at Geralt. And he's the one that also uh, cared for Ciri for a while. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle. Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Ciri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. He might, because I'm a real charming fellow. So uh, why won't they let you in there, by the so way? So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. I can imagine. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf. Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. 
I have an important matter to discuss with you. Okay then. So Croc on Crate is the leader of the on Crate clan. There are five clans on uh, Skellige. I you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yeah, okay, that guy went right through us. Doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Croc, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I've something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Okay then, we will. We're only just arrived and Jennifer is already bossing us around. Some things never change. So, um, let's go to Jennifer's room first. I like to keep the ladies happy. So, uh, a lot of new characters. I'll uh, go deeper into them, aside from the minor introduction I just did uh, when we get to uh, meet them in person. Well, a bit longer than we just saw Croc. So, that's another quest done. Destination Skellige. And now the king is dead. Long live the king. Well, on the way over there, there's also this notice board, so let's check this thing out. Uh, farewell feast. There we go. Contract. So let's take the contract. Another contract. Another contract. Uh, Gwent lessons. Mm, I'm currently taking on pupils for lessons in the plague of Gwent from Ermion himself. So let's take that as well. And fist fights. Well, we kind of know about the fist fight fights. Ah, I should take that as well, apparently. There we go. Everything done. Um, the most interesting thing in um, Skellige is that we immediately unlock a whole new set of um, alchemy recipes and the like and also ingredients that we couldn't find in the Velen region so I'm gonna quickly check out the merchants here greetings looking to buy yes we are show me your wares so if you're familiar with how inventory used to look you can already see there's a lot of maps that we didn't find anywhere else i'm gonna buy all those um reading this guidebook will unlock a certain fast travel points because arts uh, skalaga is a collection of a bunch of islands and this will make it easier to go from one to the other so i have enough money for to buy all of these because these are quite expensive uh, and I go I'm going to uh, buy every one of those so that's that's also the name of the island so Art Skellig uh, Elm Skellig which is the the sister island of uh, Art Skellig Faro Hindersfjall Unvik and then last but not least Spikerug so that's that we have those maps I'm gonna see if I can't quickly sell a few things to uh, this man so, I got a bit of money back, not that much, but hey, farewell. So long. Oh, I'm on I'm on the fire, holy shit. Uh, so I'm quick, quickly going to check out those maps and add those fast travel points. So there we go, and if we then go to the world map, and I zoom up, out a bit, you're going to see that we have, see, a few uh, fast travel points already available right now. Really handy to get around quickly, so I'm not spending that much time especially for the the far off islands like this one um that we don't need to sail over there so larvik over there and then i think over here is one and then in the middle uh no over here on the left is also one the martin coast so especially for those it's really handy and over here it's really handy to have those fast travel points and now we have the herbalist over here in this shack, which is really interesting. Hello, sir. Would you like to buy something from me stash? I would like to buy something from me stash. Maybe. Let me see what you got. So uh, a few extra diagrams that I hadn't already. But the most interesting thing is the few ingredients that I couldn't find on uh, so enhanced cat and drowner pheromones 
the few things that you couldn't find in uh, Novigrad itself. Don't really know what I need right now, but I'll do that in between recordings so that I uh, I think green mold is something that you don't find in Novigrad. Um, but this is really handy for me just to... Uh, Bri Briona is also something, I think. Just to complete my alchemy collection. Um, so yeah, that's something I'll do in between recordings. There we go. So long. Maybe quickly check out the two that I just got. Um, doesn't... Oh yeah, there we go. Drown of Pheromones. Drowners will not attack the Witcher. Which is very specific, but that adds another point of toxicity, I think. And then we have the Enhanced Cat, which would also add more toxicity points because of the skill we have. So now that uh, has an extended duration and adds the also uh, it also adds the effect of being immune to hypnosis so that's really handy against fiends because they can uh, hypnotize you so let's head to Yennefer's shack and we'll probably end the episode there so they're punching each other in the face already there we go this has got to be Yen's room she always did like space and luxury. And luxury indeed, because we can kind of look around in this room, which I might as well do. Because uh, there are a few items of interest around here. Uh, and it is really big, as you can see, there's two rooms in here. Um, let's see, uh, there we have Yennefer's journal. Sneaky, sneaky. With the romantic music in the background, my thoughts turn with increasing frequency to the idea of capturing a djinn. If I could just harness its power, there is much I would gain. Amos Var Ipsis's tome confirms what I have long suspected, that despite my failure to do so previously, taming a djinn is in fact possible. According to Var Ipsis, the difficulties involved in bending such a being to one's will can be overcome. He managed to do so at the least. Alas, this does not mean his methods will necessarily be useful to me. Each djinn is different, each case requires a singular approach. I have more experience in raveling such magic riddles than almost anyone else alive, and if Geralt, with his talent for wrestling unruly magic beings, agrees, agrees to help, we just might find a way to do it. The problem is we must first find a djinn, a daunting task unto itself. So, um, might as well, I think I explained this one before, but, um, the love between Geralt and Yennefer is not really all that natural at first. Um, Geralt used the last wish, that's because that's the reason why the book was called like that. The last wish he got from the three wishes from a djinn to uh, force kinda Yennefer to uh, love him so they would love each other. So their love is a magic relationship rather than a natural one. But of course that might change. Because uh, I think they, I'd like to think that they uh, love each other for real right now. Glamour, scent of lilac and gooseberries, even with the lid on, taste hasn't changed. Nope. It kind of also explains uh, Geralt's behavior sometimes when he's uh, near uh, Yennefer. Did someone just enter? That was weird. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. Yes, indeed. And then, of course, the one of the most famous items in Yennefer's possession. Hmm. The stuffed unicorn. She fixed it. Well, uh, Yennefer and Geralt like to have sex on this thing. Yeah, right on top of this thing. And I promise you, will you will get to see that eventually. Uh, I don't think there's anything else around here. Maybe check out the other side of the room. So there's another uh, megascope. megascope. Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhart said, megascopes and toothbrushes, deeply personal possessions. And then we have the chest in the back. There's also another item here. The poison Cassia source. De Vries, the poison source. Still turns to it for inspiration. Might as well read that. No one is born a mage, we still know too little about genetics and the me mechanisms of heredity. 
We devote too little time and resources to this research. Sadly, we still conduct trials in the inheritance of magic ability using, let us say, natural methods. The results of these pseudo-experiments far too often can be seen in the gutters of our cities and bagging outside our temple walls. Far too often we see and encounter brain-dead and moronic women. Women covered in their own spittle and passing themselves as prophetesses, seers, village diviners and miracle workers, cretins with brains degenerated by the uncontrolled power they inherited. These simpletons and fools can themselves breed, can pass on their abilities and continue the degeneration. Is anyone capable of foreseeing or defining what the last link in such a chain will look like? Most of us may just lose the ability to procreate as a result of changes and disruptions to the functioning of our pituitary glands. Others, sorceresses most often mature into their magic powers with gonads intact. They can conceive and give birth and have the audacity to consider that good fortune a blessing. Yet I repeat, no one is born a mage, and no one should be. Aware of the gravity of what I write, I provide an answer to the question posed at the summit in Sidaris. I answer with every certitude, with every certitude, each of us must decide what she wants to be, a sorceress or a mother. So most sorceresses are uh, infertile, but some of them are not, but uh, since magic is not um, per se inherited, that sometimes gives, uh, well, unwanted results. So there we go, elegant Skellige shirt, elegant tunic, Skellige breeches, Skellige breeches and festive slippers. So let's take the breeches and the Skellige shirt, there we go, and put that on. And I think I should remove the gauntlets. There we go. So now we're in formal Skellige attire. I think they like that more than if you uh, would simply use that old Nilfgaardian attire. Uh, I think I can keep my equipment on with that. Uh, and well, I'm gonna take a little break here. So next time we're gonna go to Care Trolle. I'll probably start from the bottom of the mountain so you can see me traveling over there. Um, and that's that, I think. Do I need to pick everything, maybe? Right. Oh, there we go. Just not something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for our... Love. Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? Well, your loved one. I hope you think that way. But we're gonna take a little break, so next time we're gonna go to Care Trolde and uh, kick off the Skellige part of the main quest. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, give the thought to subscribe to my channel, because I really appreciate that. So I'd like to thank you all enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye!